Hello, my name is Eduardo and I am here with a tutorial for App Inventor and it is just to show you something that I did in the morning it is a very simple app but um, just let me tell you about this app I usually play with my children and we have an app that is Sender sometimes we exchange files using this app um, well, something uh, something that uh, that we like about this app is that you have an option uh, where you can send like a buzz. Okay, so you can make uh, you can make the cell phone of your, for example, in this case of my daughter, to vibrate. Okay, using this app. So you have to be over the same uh, Wi-Fi connection. So I was thinking about how to make something like that in App Inventor, and I have something like this okay so well this is the app okay so basically it is just a buzzer so pay attention here I have my name okay so I register my name so I write my name my username and that's it and then I need to write the name of the person that I I am planning to send the buzzer over the web okay well in this case I'm going to send this uh, buzzer or vibration to me okay so I'm going to write again my name and I just write send bus and we have to wait a little bit and now the cell phone is vibrating okay so and you can do this with another person that is using um, well that has internet okay and well I just stop this and that's it well the idea is it is pretty simple the idea is pretty simple I am using just a tiny uh, web DV okay so let's check here in App Inventor we have here in the designer we have a text box so this is the text box where you have to write your name your username then here you have the person that you want to send this uh, message so you have to know the right name okay the name as uh, your friend uh, wrote it okay then you have here this button that is registered this is just to send or to save your name in the database okay your username then you have the send bus that it's going to send okay some data to the database to modify your friend's uh, uh, system or to uh, it is just basically to send the bus okay and this is to stop if your phone is vibrating because of your friend okay so well it's pretty simple so we have these components and also we have here tiny web db so this is uh, the one uh, that is going to store uh, your username and the users, uh, all the users, for example, your friend. Then you have the buzzer sound. This sound it is just to create the vibration. Then you have a notifier just to uh, let us know, okay, just to show you because you cannot uh, feel uh, if the phone is vibrating. And then you have this uh, sensor or this uh, clock that is checking, okay, it is checking the the tiny uh, web DB just to check if is uh, uh, is there any modification in the web and you have this one that is a tiny DB this is just an internal uh, way to uh, save your user so well well that is the idea with this okay so for the tiny web DB you I just created a custom tiny web DB. So here it is uh, in the documentation. You can find this kind of a uh, tutorial. And when you do this, you can have your own um, custom tiny web DB service. Okay. So I have here some values from my other apps and from this app. Okay. And I will show you how this thing is going to work. It is very interesting. This thing. So it is pretty simple. So maybe we can modify more things, okay? Especially, for example, if you want to know who is sending the, the buzz, okay? So, but for now, it's just uh, keep it simple.
So well, first, the first idea here, you have three variables. The first variable it is uh, my name, okay, my username, my friend's name, and this, my boss, that it's going to tell us if we have to boss or not to boss the cell phone, okay? So um, then we have here the initial value, the screen initialized. So we are going to check if we have in the internal TinyDB, okay, our username, say. If not, well, we have to have it empty, okay? So now, if we have this value, yes, if we have this value, so in the sender text box, okay, so the person that, in this case, it's me, it's going to uh, replace the text using my name so now I use these blocks that replace all text and segment replacement because I have the name the username it is not for example you can see here just Eduardo but it's not Eduardo in the tiny web DB the name is buzzer user okay uh, and then you have the underscore and then Eduardo so why because I want to have just a little bit uh, more control about this and I want to have all the uh, users of this app having buzzer user, buzzer user. So in that case, I can find them uh, easily. Then, so that's why I am just removing here just uh, to write the name Eduardo when we enter, okay? Then we have here the register. So when we want to write our username so we are going to check if the text box it is not empty okay no spaces so if it's not empty okay if it has some information for example eduardo okay we are going to trim okay remove spaces and we're going to join this part that i told you buzzer yes sir that is like a prefix for all my users okay and then i'm going to join this with sender text box for example if i write one it is buzzer user um, underscore one and then we are going to save this data in the tiny web db okay so the tag will be in this case this the buzzer user and your name okay so for example let's create one so let's say that i am now uh, Sammy, like my daughter, I register and then we check here in the tiny web DB and then you have buzzer user underscore Sammy and then you have a value here in the tiny that is the boss uh, underscore false. We're going to check here. Then, for example, if you have empty this thing and you say, oh, register my name hey write your name and it's not say, saving anything okay so when we have here now the tiny web db it is going to store okay uh, well in this case you have tiny uh, db in this case when you save the value okay or a tag in your uh, tiny web db we are going to save this value okay the value from the web we are going to save it in the local uh, database okay the tiny db so for example when we are going to store here tag nombre or name and the value to store it is global my name so it is saving the same name now for example if we check here we check it it is saving this thing Yes, buzzer user, send, and that's it. And then, when checking uh, here, the web clock, check. This is going to check every two seconds if there is a modification in the database. So, what is uh, the program or the app? Uh, we'll be looking for a modification in the value here so if you change this to boss the boss is okay but if you change this to false from uh, from false to true so that is the thing that it will be like checking so if we're going to check if this text okay the value the value in the tiny web db okay 
and we remove spaces if we have the piece of text that it says true we are going to call the buzzer okay and we are going to show uh, the notifier with the message I am vibrating I am vibrating okay so that is the idea so basically so this is the idea it is going to check and then we have some extra blocks here so for example when the tiny uh, web get a value okay we are going to set this to the global boss okay the global boss it will store the value from the web and that is the data that we are going to analyze okay so here this is the value that we are going to analyze okay so this is the value from the web we are going to check if we if it contains the value the word true okay so now um, this is just very simple just to stop when the, your phone is vibrating you can stop it and then you reset the, uh, the value in your database just uh, reset this uh, from false from true to false okay and then here when you want to send a boss to a friend you have to check uh, if the text box uh, sender that is the one that you can see here this one if it's not empty okay it has some information for example the name of your friend it has to check set global friend to trim join buzzer okay so first the variable your friend is going to join because all the users remember are like buzzer user underscore so for example if I roll uh, Juana okay it's going to check that and then it's going to store the value and it's going to check the tag this is the tag okay remember the global my friend so in this case it's like buzzer user underscore Juana or Johnny and the value to store is to change this in this tag we're going to change well we're going to join buzz with true okay so that is basically the idea with this thing and if there is not uh, if this this thing is not empty well you are going to receive a message a message from the notifier so there are more things to do in here for example what happens if you want to check for this uh, user and it is not there okay so well but this is just the basic idea okay so maybe you can work more on this uh, mini project and you can use it for you in your in your apps so um, it, it's quite fun to send some uh, buzzes to your uh, friends well i hope you understood this tutorial and you like this tutorial and i will see you next time and goodbye